Hey YouTube. So first of all, I want to welcome you to my new apartment. There's not much exciting behind me right now because this is sort of a temporary setup, but um, I think this is going to be the first video that comes out from new apartment. So here we are. Um, actually, I've been meaning to record this video for quite a while and I'm a little annoyed with myself that I didn't do it earlier because I've seen friends um, using uh, this hashtag that I'm going to talk about and um, I wish I had, I had put this out, um, you know, before that happened. Um, but I want to be clear that, um, so you can probably tell from the title um, that this video is going to be about the hashtag tarot tribe and why I don't think folks should use that hashtag. Um, I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible. I had like a whole bunch of notes and then lost them and then I thought, you know what, let's try to keep it brief and accessible. Um, my goal in making this video is not to call people out and say that they're racist. My goal is not to push people out of the tarot community. My goal is not to say that you, you've done a horrible thing and you can never be forgiven for it. That is in no way my intention. Um, I will try to remember to put in the cards a link to a, another video that I did about um, racism in the tarot community. And one of the things that I talked about that it, uh, talked about in a little more depth in that video was um, the difference between um, saying that somebody is, you know, a racist and never can recover um, and saying that somebody has done something that is a racist action and why I think when somebody says, hey, a thing you did um, was or may have been racist, that the response especially if you're a white person, the instinctive response may be to get defensive and to say, no, I would never do such a thing um, because it feels like that if you admit to having committed a racist action, then you are a racist person and can never recover. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Um, I commit racist actions. Everyone who's white commits racist actions. Um, racism is the combination of power, uh, privilege, and prejudice. And it is impossible to completely clear ourselves of all prejudice or the um, impact of all prejudice that we have accumulated over a lifetime in our actions. So if you are somebody who's used this hashtag before I get into why I don't think folks should use it, um, please know that my intention here is not to push you out. It is to, to call you in and to um, suggest not using it in the future as a way that you can continue to grow and develop in your um, solidarity with uh, people of color, and in this instance, specifically with ind indigenous native folks around the world. So that's my little preface. Um, why do I think that we shouldn't use the term tarot tribe? So I'm gonna talk about two things in this video. One is just the problems with the term tribe when it actually is being used specifically to refer to native people by white people. And then, um, or I should say by non-native people. So this could apply to folks of color as well who are non-native. And then two, talk about the specific use of tribe to mean something other than that. So the expansion of that term, um, if it's used in business or for friend groups and specifically the use of the term tarot tribe and why I think we should back away from that term. So I found out um, about this. Somebody had mentioned that there was a hashtag going around um, that was a hashtag tarot tribe uh, video response um, prompt on YouTube. And um, actually at the time I'm seeing this, like I said, more and more pop up um, and I hadn't made the video yet, but um, at the time I looked, I didn't actually see that many responses to the VR, but what I did notice is that on Instagram, there were over, two, I think 200,000 uses of that hashtag. So I was like, oh wow, this is not an isolated thing. This is a term that a lot of people are using and identifying with um, to refer to the tarot community. And so first of all, like why is, what's wrong with the term tribe in general. Um, so I'm going to be talking about using that tribe as a non-native person. There are certainly native people who use that term, who embrace that term and are welcome to do so. It's one of those words that you can claim or reclaim if you belong to that identity group, but should not use if you're outside of it. The reasoning for that, and I'll try to remember to leave some links below um, that expand on this a little bit more, but the reason not to use the word tribe, that is a specific term that is used by colonizers to downgrade or make native cultures, communities, languages seem less important than um, 
other sovereign nations. So folks who belong to a native sovereign nation use the term nations um, if we want a word like that. Say what nation do you belong to? Um, <clears throat> what nations are your people from? That would be the, the, the recommended term. Or if you're referring to a specific nation or specific group of people using the name, and preferably using their own name for that um, group if you know it. Or the, if you want a more general term um, for just like a descriptor um, that is not talking about a specific group, you can use terms like native or indigenous. Uh, and again, I'm a white person. I'm not a native white person. And this is coming from my reading and my understanding of things. If you are native, I very much welcome you in the comments to let me know if I get anything wrong in this or um, whether you're native to like wherever you're native to. So if um, you see this and you're thinking, oh, this is like applicable to North America, but actually doesn't apply to Australia or um, Africa or wherever else you're you're from, um, please let me know in the comments below and I can I can issue a correction. Um, so that term is used um, by colonizers specifically to, again, downgrade. So if the colonizer were to say, this is a nation of people, then they would have to, we would have to recognize that uh, indigenous na sovereign nations are just as powerful, just as important, and have, have the exact same rights to land use to resources that we do. And of course, the colonizing project cannot admit that. The whole point of the colonizing project is genocide, it's wiping people out, it's um, claiming ownership of their land um, and uh, keeping people from using their land, uh, from practicing their culture, etc. So there's um, very violent, uh, brutal histories in every continent, um, except I actually don't know about Antarctica, but probably Antarctica with research science. Um, in every continent, there are these brutal histories, violent histories, genocidal histories of, <clears throat> excuse me, perpetrating enormous violence on cultures, on people, on bodies um, of native folks. And then using the term tribe as a catch-all that means groups of native people to make that seem less important and less sovereign and even legal language less uh, having fewer rights than a European or colonizer state would have. And so that term can be used as a signal to say um, y'all are less important than we are. So that's one reason to avoid <clears throat> using that term. Um, some native people like might use that term for, for many reasons. And one of them is that actually, especially I know US law better than other, um, other laws, but um, in US law, the specific term tribe and tribal recognition, it has meaning and it, it, you have to use that language um, legally when you're stating claims. So it makes sense that native folks might use that term in certain contexts or may just choose to reclaim it and that's fine. But as a white person, I don't feel comfortable using that term. Um, I want to signal to folks that I recognize their full sovereignty and so I would use the term nation or use the term, um, a term that refers to a specific nation. And there's a lot in this too about like the idea of like barbarism or you know, um, Europeans kind of, there's so many terms like tribe that are used as kind of dog whistles and, and signaling to say, you're less human than, than we are. And so I, I choose to strike that term from my language for those reasons. Okay, so that's part one. And then part two is what about using the tribe term for a group or community like tarot? So this is not just tarot, of course. You, um, I think Seth Godin wrote a book called Tribe. It's used a lot in business and entrepreneurial language. Um, I've heard people say like, find your tribe, actually in like new age kind of contexts. Like there's a lot of this like, find your tribe, find your people. Um, so finding your people, nothing wrong with that. Finding your community, nothing wrong with that. Uh, caring about a tarot community, absolutely nothing wrong with that. If it was hashtag tarot community, I'd be on board, I'd be making the VR, uh, I'd be all about it. But um, when we use the term tribe in this way, it's further perpetuating, it's this weird thing where it's like taking this colonizing language and then saying like, you're only this, this is all you are, you're not the same as us. And then grabbing that language back for ourselves. It, and the thing that it, it, it can signal is the idea that a native community, culture, language, religion is on the same level, is no, no more significant and no more important 
important to recognize in human rights terms than a business, than a group of people who get together, than, than tarot readers. Um, and, you know, I don't want to, like, say, oh, this group is more important than this group, but the idea that, that tribe is just something you can claim, like, it's my tribe and there's no initiation, there's no need of shared language, there's no need of shared culture, um, is problematic. It makes me think, not to like over-analogize, but it makes me think a little bit about big D deaf culture and the idea of like, there's, there's hearing loss, little d deaf hearing loss, but then big D deaf, like, there's this idea of culture, it comes from signing, it comes from having a shared language, having a shared community, having shared practices and norms. Um, where you like get to big D deaf. And I think it's sort of similar, again, not to over analogize, but sort of similar in the idea that you don't just like, you can't just be part of a native nation because you would feel like it, right? It's, it's um, much more deep than that and much more complex than that. Um, and it's not to say that outsiders are never welcome into any native nation. That's gonna vary between, uh, among nations. But, um, you know, it's troubling when we use it for something like tarot readers because it's saying that uh, that something as simple as I sling cards and I am I am part of a tarot community has the same impact and the same importance of a native nation because that's inherently bringing that down. It's, it's saying that being native or being part of a native nation is no more significant and should have no more rights associated with it than just a group of people who get together. So that's my basic understanding of it. Please leave a comment um, if you if you are Native, Indigenous, if you, um, to anywhere uh, in particular, um, that this applies to and you want to, um, you want to talk about it, you want to leave corrections or add things to what I've said. Um, I will again try to leave some links below, but please feel free to share links. And if you do have questions about this, um, you know, a totally welcome, respectful questions. I understand that this may be new for some people and, and you may wonder, like want some more depth or detail. I'm happy to answer questions below. I'm sure others can answer questions as well. Of course, the caveat that I am a white and non-native person. So anything I say is, um, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It comes from my reading and listening, um, which is really what we should be doing is just listening um, to native folks um, because Again, it, when you come from the perspective of colonizer, um, there's a lot that you can't undo. You can't erase the fact that you're part of a genocidal group of people. Um, but what you can do is listen and try as much in your actions as possible to avoid the ongoing perpetration of genocide and to, whenever possible, scale back and um, welcome Native sovereignty and support Native sovereignty um, and work in solidarity with Native people. <clears throat> and pardon me, I've gotten a little hoarse during this video. Um, so if you um, are interested in um, this kind of content, um, please feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do sometimes talk about race and racism um, as it relates to tarot and, and witchy stuff, etc. Um, and um, leave a comment and I hope you have a great rest of your day.